What happened? Oh yeah? So what do you do when it's really boring on a snow day? You pull out all your old frozen stuff and you make Sasha snowman so she can look out her, her window. We put, I think this is what, the Anna one? Sasha's still obsessed with frozen so we have all of our Halloween costumes. I think she's looking pretty good so far. We add some more finishing touches. You know, you kind of got to compromise with finding some uh, jelly beans inside and old Halloween parts, right? So, um, Anna's born and uh, Sasha's hanging out in there because it's really cold and I do not want to get her freezing, but she's going to come out and see her anyway for just a minute. <laughs> So don't mind the banging in the background because you know mom life is always doing dishes or something in the dryer or the wash machine and that's what's going off on our day off. So we got dumped with like six to probably eight inches of heavy heavy snow. Best snow ever for making a snowman. So Sasha only lasts like a certain amount of time out in the snow because her circulation and her special needs just don't allow her the body warmth even if you put her in like 17 layers she gets cold really fast. So we like to build a snowman right in front of her window so she can look up every morning and she can look out a window and see it. So we basically got random um, like Halloween parts from the shed and, and old parts of um, an Anna frozen costume that I had worn from the shed and stuff out of boxes and we just made our own special snowman. So we are... I can stop rambling here going to Sasha's best friend David who also has special needs for dinner and he's been in many throughout our videos and Sasha and him love to just hang out and watch a movie and have dinner and Sasha also has off tomorrow for extended holiday so we're gonna go catch up with them and see what's going on and have dinner. Sash, what do you think of that? It's beautiful. Oh we my. Got it to, we got it what's to out the there? Let me try to zoom in on it. Oh, you know what? She's looking at you through the glass. Why? I don't know. She's like, can I come inside? I'm a little cold out here. Um, Phil, did you just look at me? She's like, do you have carrots or apples? Do you guys have carrots you could give her? What do you think, Sash? She looks, she looks cold. You want to go give her a blanket? No. No, not today? What do, what do you do to keep them warm? She's good. She's, she's, she's wanting to come inside, I'm telling you. But she's too big. What the? You gonna tell him a joke? It's not funny. What that, happened? You're making no childish nonsense. Childish nonsense. Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you two are something else. David. David! 
Where'd he go? David! Did he put on his snowshoes and go into the woods? David, what are you doing? Huh? Did, did he get on a horse and ride into town? Come on, that's childish nonsense! Yeah. What the fuck is yeah. that? Jay, no one says that. That's childish nonsense. What are we watching? Ew. What are we watching? Shrek. Shrek. I don't think you've ever seen Shrek, huh? Yes! Ropes! Ew! Oh my god! <laughs> what are you watching, Tosh? <laughs> so I have gotten like Quite a few comments lately and quite a few emails about this. Sasha's footed pajamas that everybody sees in all of our videos. If you don't know, Sasha has sensory processing disorder. So she gets extremely cold in the winter. We live here in Connecticut and some nights it's gotten 15 below. So she's freezing, our house is warm, but like with her special needs, her body just doesn't circulate to keep her warmth like it should. So she is super into footed pajamas. I mean, um, I wish it was simpler because she wakes up and she's roasting, but I guess she likes that comfort feeling as well. So finding um, footed pajamas um, with no strings because I have to feel inside the foots and socks and everything because she doesn't like any strings touching her, any seams touching her. She gets really weird with her sensory processing disorder. I mean, it's very sensitive to her. So I'm going to show you where I found her pajamas. They're called from a place called Snug as a Bug, and they're actually from Canada. Some of them are expensive, but right now they're having a sale on a whole bunch of them. So that's when I scoop up for Sasha. And um, she's actually in adult sizes now because she's over five foot. So I'm going to show you guys. So these are the ones that don't mind my dog in the background that I actually buy for Sasha. And as you can tell, some of them are totally on sale. Some are not on sale. But these feet right here are so super sensitive they're like the softest i don't even know what they're made out of and they have no strings inside so i highly recommend them and i totally forgot to close out the video last night because it's just one of those things you get home and you get in your normal routine of like sasha wants to go to bed she wants to do like her creams and her essential oils and everything else in between so my routine is focusing on her and it was freezing last night when we got home too so that probably didn't help but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and Sasha and David and just them sharing some laughter and great conversation between them. And David's mom, you know, we always get to have great conversations together. And she sent me this quote that I'm going to put at the end of the video because it explains me to a T. We were talking about how the later in life that, you know, special needs parenting is hard. I mean, I have a typical son who's going to be 20 next month and then you throw in special needs. And, you know, some people, whether they're your outside friends or even family members or even just really close relatives, they just, they don't get the dynamics of what special needs entails and how in-depth it is and doctor's appointments and IEP meetings. And we were just talking about friendships that have dwindled, unfortunately, over the years because we don't have time and we don't make that effort and, and people don't get the dynamics of what we're personally and mentally going through each day raising these special needs kids. So she basically sent me this quote. It described me perfectly. So I'm going to insert it and I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.